Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Trailer Talk. Today, I have some interesting trailers, a couple things from the Nintendo Direct, and a couple other interesting things. I think they're all from Japan, but uh, got some stuff to talk about. So uh, let's get started, I guess. Um, thumbs up if you like Trailer Talk. Please leave a comment below if there's a trailer you would like to see me talk about. In a future episode, let me know. I kind of do these as I get enough trailers. I get enough trailers I want to talk about, I do a trailer talk. That's usually how it works. It takes a couple weeks, but if you clue me in on other trailers, you know, I might, I might do them sooner. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's get rolling. Peggy 12. This is a story trailer. July. 2054. Story trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles. The Earth was caught in We've seen a lot of footage of this game. Um, but we haven't seen a lot of story stuff. This is the, the big open world game, successor to Xenoblade, but you can fly mechs around and stuff. Among them was our ship, the Um, I hear there's not a lot of story missions in the game. Tall, but this kind of sets the tone, I guess. The um, it's more about kind of exploring we a big giant world. Mira. I'm actually a little worried now. that most of the game is going to be kind of mmo -E type quests and stuff. But I'm hoping that the world Mira. itself and some of the subsystems, the hopefully, you know, like your skill system, progression, loot, hopefully no that's better. Uh, coming from Xenoblade, because if I have enough gameplay motivation pulling me forward, I don't actually mind that stuff might not be super story heavy. This isn't over. You cannot escape us on this planet or any other. It's just kind of a change from. Ooh, that kind of looks like an Asari. With longer tentacles. It's just kind of a, a change from Xenoblade, because even though Xenoblade was big and open and had kind of MMO y type side quests, it was still mostly a linear story driven game like you expect from a JRPG this I'm hearing less so it's more about kind of just being an let me rewind here I've seen this in other games this is usually a bad sign let me see if I can pause it there we go wait wait there the whole like meat tenderizer on the end of the gun it's never a cool thing is there a gun in real life that is like this that has these meat tenderizer looking things I remember a uh, binary domain had some guns like this maybe that's the sign that kind of your your artist needs needs to be fired I don't know thing is like the characters look so stupid but well this thing's just starting let me pause it <laughs> the characters look so stupid in Xenoblade but like the world is like fucking awe inspiring so it's it's crazy the environmental artist deserves a raise character our artist deserves a pay deduction anyways uh, this is a gameplay trailer for Star Fox let's roll it's fast it's furious it's Star Fox this is not a 3ds game this is a Wii U game I don't know this looks like Star Fox I wouldn't say it looks all that beautiful or detailed or anything but it looks like a uh, Star Fox game you got some all range mode type environments here <clears throat> platinum games is making this that's my one hope platinum games they make good games you know I'm sure Nintendo's get given them enough time and money to work on this maybe or maybe it's like a platinum games is kinda trying to salvage what they did have kinda like with Metal Gear Rising but even in that case Metal Gear Rising was pretty good Okay, so these these trailers are just going. But yeah, I would really like to know what y'all think of Star Fox. Is there any Star Fox fans? Do you have any hopes for this new one? I played the E3. I didn't love it. Uh, anyways, here we go. We got a Smash Brothers logo. Alright, so we have a new character for Smash Brothers. I know they did some polls. They asked everybody to submit who they wanted the most. I'm not surprised. This is a very popular video game character. I just... 
I don't know. One, he's another sword user. Two, he looks a lot like Ike. And I like to use Ike in Smash. So maybe I'd probably like Cloud. But man, there are so many characters out there that deserve it more than Cloud fucking Strife. <sighs> he storms into battle, guys. Uh, I would like to see... Fucking... There's so many characters I'd rather see. How about Wonder Red from the Wonderful 101? Or some COs like Andy or Sammy from Advance Wars. I mean, that's like a tried and true Nintendo series since the Famicom days. Famicom days. I don't understand. What is that? Like his Kingdom Hearts outfit or something? It's so fucking lame. His moves look pretty fucking strong. I'm guessing his recovery probably sucks. I don't know. They do a pretty good job of balancing these characters, right? It looks like he had kind of Ike's up B, but he, he doesn't have to come down necessarily. And I don't know what that was, like a summon or something? And he has limit breaks, which I guess means, you know, the more damage you do to him, the more dangerous he is. I mean, there's other characters that are like that. Um, I bet he's, I bet he's real good. <laughs> I just, he doesn't seem, you know, I don't know. Where's my Simon Belmont? Where's Simon Belmont? Hell, I would have taken Lara Croft over Cloud if you're gonna get Square Enix to go third party with you. But I guess Tomb Raider's never been on a Nintendo system, has it? Maybe it has. Maybe like Tomb Raider Legends or something. There were some Tomb Raider games on um, the GBA and the Game Boy Color. There was always like some handheld Tomb Raider. Oh no, no, Tomb Raider Anniversary came to the Wii. Yeah. Chocobo costumes. And we have another fighting game featuring Cloud Strife. With more awesome battle music from Final Fantasy. This is for the new Dissidia game. And it's Cloud Strife. You'll even see some similar moves. I hope this is cool. Dissidia is pretty cool, but um, Koei Tecmo is working on this one. That's a little strange. Who did, who did Dissidia 1 and 2? That was a... Um, I don't know. This one looks pretty sweet. He did like a finishing touch, which is pretty cool. I like I like how they infuse his limit breaks into like his sort of his specials and stuff. There's a bunch of trailers out for different characters in the new Dissidia game. I think this is coming to arcades. <laughs> Terra, there's a trailer for Terra from Final Fantasy VI, but they they call her Tina in Japan. <laughs> Fucking Tina. Thank God they changed it for the Western release. All right, now I'm just gonna play them. Dinner Live Extreme Beach Three. Um, it's kind of like a dating simulator slash mini game collection. You uh, play mini games, give gifts, and now they're. Bathing suits can come off a little bit and you can see their tan lines. Also, hold on. What is this? What, what is going on here? Get a new fucking bathing suit. That's disgusting. This looks difficult. Yeah, that's Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Uh, that's the new trailer. I threw in the older ones, too, after this, because why the fuck not? So here's an interesting one. Um, you got the mouse pads. 
with the, the squishy boobs so your, your hand can rest on them. I don't know if I'd go with the one on the left. I know some people, like, are attracted to the, the shape of a young teenager. But uh, I would say for the sake of, you know, wrist health and proper mouse youth, youth use, go with the larger breasted uh, mouse pad on the right just for your own, you know, health. That's all. Oh, so many Japanese trailers are just half, just half the trailer is, is like pre-order items and special editions and here's the here's the other trailer this one's older but this one features my favorite activity um let's just watch this one in slow-mo it's not very long so this is the butt bumping activity um my favorite. I can't believe she won. She doesn't even, you know, have the qualities of someone who'd be good at a game like this. Anyways, uh, yeah, Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Who buys these games? I don't know. Um, and that's gonna do it for trailer talk. Uh, See you next time. Thumbs up, spread the word, and leave a comment. Goodbye.